All right, so, folks, Wade's World, where we been? Well, actually, all over the world. We're in London right now. We're having to leave this Airbnb. Airbnb, bro, I can't talk. It's almost midnight, and we've been up all day. The Airbnb has no lights, but the light's shining bright in my head because I missed you guys, and I wanted to get back on the Wade's World channel. And we haven't really discussed this, but we have to talk about it because it's something that's been all over the internet for months. Does anyone know what happened to the Logan Paul crypto zoo scam? Like, did those people get paid back? Did anybody get like the game to work right? Has anyone been refunded? Has anyone gotten their, their just due? Are the eggs actually hatching or did the scam come before the egg or the chicken become before the scam eggs? I, I don't really know what's going on with this Pokemon Photoshop art. Apparently the scam is still happening or at least it's been caught in 4K. So let's take a look at a video from Cavos, my guy. He he was actually one of the dudes. <laughs> Funny enough, I know people don't like Cavos. Had my back. Rep me, man, when the whole KSI and, and Mams and Misfits thing was going down. So uh he he's made a video, a couple videos on this, and I came out with a new one today. Logan Paul caught in 4K over the crypto zoo scam stuff. I've been kind of watching from the sideline on this one, but I want to talk about it because I just I genuinely don't know what the f is going on. So Let's take a look. Oh, Logan Paul just got caught in 4K yep. with his ongoing crypto zoo lawsuit. Music to everyone's ears. If you are unfamiliar, <laughs> mega influencer. That's music to Cavo's ears. I feel like Cavo's, the more drama that comes to Logan, KSI, really anybody, his ears perk up so high. And I know he enjoys it because I mean, obviously the channel's built off of it, but Definitely with Logan, I can tell he gets an extra little, extra little peek in the smile from him. That devilish grin. Co-founder of Prime, Logan Paul is being sued by the victims of his Crypto Zoo scam. Take that! Crypto Zoo was a project that Logan Paul himself founded. It takes a wild mind to imagine something as crazy and ambitious as Crypto Zoo. With LP's energy and huge following behind it. L with LP's energy and huge following behind it. Because as everyone knows, listen, Logan's run a bunch of successful businesses. You guys know this. But the two things you need to run a successful business, energy, huge following. That's what it is. Not, especially when you're talking about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. The one thing you want to know when you're getting into some kind of project or NFTs, which by the way, guys, are all scams. Stop buying NFTs. I've told you guys for years nothing there the, the value is nothing the value is what i tell you it is this this phone matter of fact this shirt this shirt is worth 40 billion bitcoin you know why because i fucking said it was so hold that but what i'm saying is nfts values are only really made by the people that trade them the value is whatever they decide it to be and sure you can call it art and and that's fine if you want to collect things for art or you want to support a person's project but in this case, you didn't even know what you were supporting, or at least you thought you did. And then Logan, I hate to say it because now the kind of quintessential term for all this, pulled the f rug. Energy and a huge following. Not actual working software or a game that made sense. Or understanding what the user's going to get out of using the game. Being able to hatch the, all the stuff you guys know. It didn't work. This project can only go to the moon. Lol. Promise fans who invested a fully working game where they could even make some money. For the last six months, I've been working on my own NFT project. So excited about this project. It's 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 so fun. It provides a yield with a token, can earn you money. I think my- Listen at the words. It's so fun. It provides you with yield, a token that can make money. This is nonsense. Like these are words used by people in the influencer NFT space to make themselves sound like they're smarter than they are and smarter than you are and to make them seem some like they've done some actual research and work into this game to make it what the big words that they're using seem like it is. I don't, I, I hate this kind of stuff. When people start talking in a way that you can't understand, unless they have a reason to do so, that's a red flag to me. You start throwing words like, oh, your yield is going to be this and you're, I, 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 I'm telling you now, there's a lot of people that think they're smarter than they are and the people that can understand that see right through it. Logan took the fans' money, but delivered absolutely fuck 
all. And to put it bluntly, the lawsuit hasn't been going too well for Logan Paul. In this video, we're going to simplify and summarize what has been going on behind the scenes and show how Logan Paul got caught with his pants down. It is just absolutely beautiful when these massive millionaire influencers try and get away with the craziest thing. But the legal system says, no, no, no. Before we get into anything, shout out Henry Resilient for all of this. Big shout out Henry, bro. That channel growing like crazy, it looks like. And in this YouTube game, you got to be resilient. So perfect name. Also, Logan Paul hasn't even been trying to argue his innocence to the allegations of basically fraud and scamming his fans with a rug pull. No, no, no. Because the, the lawsuit is coming out of Texas, big brain Logan Paul and his lawyer's response wasn't, well, we didn't do any of this, we're innocent. It was that there was no personal jurisdiction against Logan Paul because he isn't from Texas, didn't do any crypto zoo business in tech. Oh, buddy, this is all right. So we're not even attempting to, like Cabo said, claim innocence. It is, I've never been in Texas. I'm not from Texas. My game isn't made in Texas. So therefore, Texas can't hold me, bitch. Find me in Puerto Rico. That's why the man moved. Now we know. Can't be held down by state law. No, but here's the thing. Federal law reaches all the way to Puerto Rico, baby. All the way. That's a territory, son. Texas never hired any employees for CryptoZoo in the state of Texas. And get this. He even argued that the game wasn't specifically targeting oh Lord, anyone from Texas. Advertises CryptoZoo to his global audience. I think my game's gonna make uh, make some waves. Hey. And wasn't the whole thing selling all Logan's game was his massive following? So to argue he wasn't specifically tailoring it to folks in Texas, but his game was going to be successful based off his high energy and his following. It's people's money doesn't deliver anything and when the people who got scammed come hey logan we want some justice we want some compensation his reply is yeah well i wasn't specifically targeting texas so i mean logan my man what happened to this my sole obligation is to my supporters here it is i'm sorry guys logan is trying to find any excuse possible not to pay any compensation now the best part of this is you know the argument they made and response about not being from texas crypto zoo business wasn't done in texas didn't employ anyone from texas is they felt this was such a strong case it gave them grounds for dismissal after this response they filed a motion to dismiss the entire fucking lawsuit no shot bro so again, this this stuff is is what you guys should like really look at when you're looking at influencers or anybody that you don't know that you think you do. This isn't just go for celebrities. This goes for anyone, friends or friends, acquaintances that are looking to provide something as far as, oh, here's this business idea I got. Da 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 da. da. Check this out. It's going to be this, going to be that. You don't know them. Even if they try to convince you that they do or that you do. If they try to convince you, you know me. I've, you've seen me on videos, you've seen me on TV, you've seen me in movies. The product itself speaks. Stop giving people the benefit of the doubt because they don't give a f about you. They don't. Even me, if you want to watch my videos, watch them because I produce content that you like. But you guys only know me through this thing. As much as I appreciate the support and I love you guys, you're not my family, right? I think you guys are, are dope. I love interacting with you. But if I'm going to push something to you, look at the product itself. Don't just listen to me say it. Look at it. Because otherwise, you're falling for whatever comes out of this and not exactly what you're buying or participating in or using or whatever it is. Logan is just straight up. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. We're going to make it right. I'm pretty sure he's, he's said multiple times. We're going to make it right with the people. And now wants to dismiss the entire thing based off a technicality of where the lawsuit was from. Not the thousands and potentially millions that he scammed. This is crazy. The cheek of this weasel. Well, luckily for us, Logan Paul and his team of morons have been caught out. Well, you've been a bad little kitty. Because the response to Logan Paul's motion to dismiss was absolutely beautiful. One of the key points Logan made was that they never employed anyone uh -oh. in Texas. So there's no personal jurisdiction. They had nothing to do with it. Luckily for all of us, he got caught red handed they are so stupid they forgot to delete the crypto zoo website which now has evidence of them lying as you can see plain as day 
They hired people oh, from Austin, man. Texas. <laughs> One of their CryptoZoo agents, contractors, or employees could have reached out to people or been employed in Texas. All right. Additionally, here we go. Plaintiffs have discovered other connections that the defendants have in Texas related to CryptoZoo. Like this shit is wild, 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 wild. Here's the nail in the coffin. Defendants, other or other CryptoZoo affiliates hired Nick Goodman and Andrew Goodman from Austin. That's from your hometown right there, boy. Nah, Austin. You you an Austinite now. These two guys that are working with CryptoZoo. By the way, guys, Christian in the corner over here. These two guys, Logan said, I never hired anybody from Austin. I've never hired anybody from Texas, so dismiss of case. Has two guys on his development team from Austin, Texas. And it's on the website. The pictures, the names, everything's still on there. In Texas. Got the ass. <laughs> this is... People don't know. they like, what the hell does this mean? I'm like, yo, they got them. This is it. GG. This, hey. You, you, who hired Wrap it? it up. And then they like, hey, they're going to take pictures, right? Web architect and developer. Their pictures are on the website, dude. There, you like, God damn, that's 4K if I ever saw 4K. Facts. Hey, we got Nick, who's a web architect and developer, and he oversaw the stud farm for CryptoZoo. And we have our guy, Andrew, over here, who's also an architect and developer <laughs> from Austin, Texas. And he's your zoology explorer. <laughs> that, my friends, is a slam dunk. Here's your zoology explorer and now you look like even bigger frauds is it yeah. even a shock anymore that logan paul is such a scumbag but you know people love to forget because wwe moves prime Facts. like Facts. if logan is scum not only that that's something I've, i fall into a lot man is like you forget that this is a big deal you can't just do this to people and expect to go on double i mean to be honest he can expect it because it's happening it's happening right now like people still watch him on wwe some people that maybe watch wwe but don't know him outside of it they see him as logan paul and the people that are his fans and kind of want to just shove this under the rug are like oh yeah well prime and wwe and boxing like i i fall into it too because i want to see logan do mma but you can't forget these things like if we do there is no penalty there is no answering for any kind of transgressions from these people ever and you and i aren't afforded that same opportunity this can't you can't just let stuff like this slide millions of dollars scam million thousands of people some bankrupt i i don't it's it's wild how this stuff works man celebrities get away with everything but eddie ibanez if you don't know who that is he is a co-founder of crypto zoo got caught going to texas on crypto zoo business defendant uh -oh. eddie abinez one of the co-founders worked in texas on behalf of crypto zoo uh -huh. on or about 2021 wait you got one of the founders and that's not it even though at the moment oh they haven't God. shown their evidence apparently they have proof of logan actually admitting to being concerned about potentially losing Texas as a market for CryptoZoo. Oh Logan Paul God. conveyed his concern about losing access to Texas market to all other founders of CryptoZoo, whom all have been added to the lawsuit. This has, they did not show their proof. This could be a conversation. This could be a message. This if could be something. I was going to say, if they have messages of Logan talking about that, it's over. I don't know what the exact settlement will be, but they will settle. They will 100% settle for a massive dollar amount versus trying to fight this because you can't. You can't fight actual, I mean, complete buffoonery on your own part, keeping the people saying that, oh, we had no business directly in Texas while clearly doing so. Your founder doing business in Texas, even though you wanted to call him a bad actor or whatever, he was a part of the team. He is CryptoZoo. And then losing, being concerned about losing one of, in Logan's words, apparently, their markets in Texas being a concern. That's it, buddy. Zip it up. The inside talking, they did not show this in this court document. I mean, are we surprised? The clowns continue to run the circus, even long after false promises. We want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status 
of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. Fake apologies. And um, I know this video. I was gonna say, has any of this happened? Is there any documentation of this? Like again, all these words with no action. And to say it with a straight face, this 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 is the sign of, of like someone you wanna watch out for just in your normal life. To be able to do this and sound solemn and sound like there's some sort of regret and remorse behind the things that he's done. Maybe there is or there was in that moment, but then to flip and try to get this whole thing dismissed on the plaintiffs, the people that you're supposed to be talking to in this video that are suing you because you haven't followed up on the things you're saying right now, I gave you a shot months and months and months and you're doing this now? This is some sociopathic stuff, man. It was funny, Jake Paul was being the one labeled a sociopath when it's Logan, like doing this with no regard, no emotion, strictly business, strictly PR. This is sociopathic behavior. So this is all great for the crypto zoo victim. Now the people making the lawsuit against Logan Paul want to change their initial complaint so they can actually strengthen their argument after finding all this evidence. They're asking for a the court's leave. Um, the party may amend its pleading only with the opposing party's written consent, which Logan Paul would never consent to the original complaint changing or the court's leave. So what's a court's leave? All right. This is the court should freely give leave when justice requires in determining whether leave to amend should be granted. The court considers such factors. So they want to change their original complaint and they have to get permission from the court because Logan Paul is not going to give them permission to Hell make no. their complaint stronger with this new information. Because all they're going to do is say, hey, they hired these people. And now that eliminates their whole affidavit of we never hired anyone in Texas. And thank God have now submitted a motion to deny the case being dismissed. Fuck yes. Is the completed motion to deny it. Let's go. Like, hey. Listen, I'm not here to prey on anyone's downfall. But I am here to prey on the people that already have been basically, like I said, bankrupt and having their lives taken from them. Granted, Logan specifically isn't the only bad guy here, but it is his, it's, it falls on his dime. This is his game. He put his, his whole name behind it, all the words that he used. I do prey on those people getting their money back. I don't know if it was Logan. I don't know if it was this Eddie Ibanez guy. I don't know if it was the entire team and Logan and Jeff were left out of it. That stuff we'll never really know. Probably, but what we do know is when it all went down, the easy thing to do, I know Logan lost money. I get it, but it's on his dime too. The easy thing to do and the right thing to do are two different things. The easy thing was to do exactly what Logan's doing, push it all to the side, hope no one said anything about it, go do WWE, repair his reputation, get a new audience, go do Prime, cross the world, whatever, get bottles thrown at their fucking heads in Australia. I had to think, or... Berlin or wherever they're at today. I had to think that was a little bit of karma. But these people were not going to get their lives back or they weren't going to get their money back. And they were just going to have to live with it. Logan Paul for this and whoever is advising him for this specifically are a bunch of scumbags. Hey, right here. Before the court, the defendants, Logan Paul and C company consolidated motion to dismiss for lack of personal jurisdiction. The court having considered the motion, any response or any reply and the case file and evidence properly before it in the opinion that the motion should be denied. It's therefore ordered the motion is denied and jurisdictional, <laughs> jurisdictional discovery is granted. Now we have to hope and pray that Logan Paul gets held accountable. We've all seen what he's done. Yeah. Coffeezilla exposed it to the world. Not one person who has been scammed by CryptoZoo has got a penny back. How people have forgiven and forgotten about what Logan Paul yeah. has done truly blows my mind. But no matter what, and as I have been doing throughout the months, I will continue to cover this. And again, W, w Cavos for this one, man. I know, again, a lot of you guys may not like Cavos, and, and, you know, maybe he does in some cases have personal vendettas with people, but. This is a W um, because again, it wasn't, it's not about Cavo. It's not about if you don't like Cavos or you do like Logan. None of that shit matters. Open your eyes and see what's happened here because it isn't just Logan. 
We've talked about it with other people, the Save the Kids stuff. And other people that don't have the means or don't necessarily understand what they're getting into, I'll say it again, stop buying NFTs, please. They're all bad. They do nothing. You're going to lose your money. Stop. Everyone that's gotten into these, it seems like Safe Moon. Ask Keemstar about that one. There's a lot. And no one seems to care. When it all goes belly up. All I'm saying to you guys is don't trust these people, even myself, about what we're selling if you don't believe in the product or you don't know about the product. Or if you're a user that's going into this stuff with blind eyes, you're getting the wool pulled over. Like I said, it's a W from Cabo. It's a W from CoffeeZilla. And the thing is, almost never are these people held accountable for it. Ever. Logan could be the first one. If this thing goes the way it should go, and hopefully the justice system prevails, these people can potentially, maybe not get everything back, because I doubt they will with all court fees and everything else, but maybe they get some of it back. And that may be the lesson that every one of these people that have pulled these can see, you're not f***ing invincible. Take it with a grain of salt when you see this stuff. Take care of yourself. That's Wade's World video. We'll be back with more, but we're on the freaking road, so I don't know where you'll see us next, but I guess we'll find out.